chosen one. Have you ever wondered why people caution against eating in your dreams? There's a deeper spiritual reason behind this warning that you need to be aware of. The truth is that eating in dreams can symbolize spiritual attacks or manipulation. These dreams aren't just random occurrences. They can be a tactic used by dark forces to influence and undermine your spiritual well-being. When you eat in your dreams, it can represent a form of spiritual contamination. The food you consume in these dreams might not be ordinary food. Instead, it could be a way for negative spiritual forces to infiltrate your life. By consuming this food, you may unknowingly be accepting harmful influences that can affect your spiritual health, your relationships, and your overall well-being. These dream encounters often come with specific intentions. Dark forces might use them to introduce fear, confusion, or even illness into your life. For instance, you might start feeling inexplicably tired, anxious, or sick after having such dreams. These are not mere coincidences. They could be symptoms of the spiritual toxins you've ingested in your dreams. It's important to understand that these spiritual attacks are not to be taken lightly. Just as physical food nourishes your body, spiritual food can either nourish or harm your soul. The devil uses these tactics to weaken your faith and create barriers between you and God. By attacking you in your dreams, he hopes to infiltrate your mind and spirit, making it difficult for you to stay connected to God's truth and strength. The Bible warns us to be vigilant and to guard our hearts and minds against such attacks. Ephesians 6, 11, 12 reminds us to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. One of the most effective ways to protect yourself from these spiritual attacks is through prayer. Pray before you sleep, asking God to shield you from any negative influences or spiritual manipulations in your dreams. Declare his protection over your mind and spirit and ask for discernment to recognize and resist these attacks. Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace from God will help you remain steadfast and unshaken, even when facing spiritual attacks in your dreams. Additionally, immerse yourself in the Word of God. The scriptures are filled with wisdom and guidance that can help you navigate through these spiritual battles. Verses like Psalm 91, 4, which says, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Provide reassurance of God's protection. James 4, 7 advises us to submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. By grounding yourself in God's word and resisting the temptations and deceptions of the enemy, you can maintain your spiritual strength and integrity. It's also beneficial to share your experiences with a trusted faith community. 
talking about your dreams and seeking counsel from spiritually mature individuals can offer you support and additional insights. They can pray with you and for you, helping you to stand firm in your faith. Proverbs 27, 17 tells us, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Engaging with your faith community can provide the encouragement and accountability needed to remain vigilant against spiritual attacks. Furthermore, consider fasting as a spiritual discipline. Fasting can help you draw closer to God, increase your spiritual sensitivity, and break any strongholds that the enemy may have established in your life. Jesus himself fasted for 40 days and nights in the wilderness, as recorded in Matthew 4, 1, 11, to prepare for his ministry and resist the temptations of the devil. The Bible also teaches us about the importance of spiritual discernment. 1 John 4, 1 advises, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By developing discernment, you can recognize when you are being spiritually attacked and take appropriate action. Another key aspect of spiritual warfare is the power of the spoken word. Proverbs 18.21 tells us, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Speak life over yourself and your circumstances. Use the promises of God to declare victory over any spiritual attacks. For example, Romans 8.37 says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Engaging in worship is also a powerful way to combat spiritual attacks. Worship shifts your focus from your problems to God's greatness and power. As you worship, you invite God's presence into your situation, and His presence dispels darkness. Psalm 22, 3 says, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. When you praise God, He dwells in your praise, bringing light and victory. It's also important to maintain a pure heart and mind. Philippians 4, 8 encourages us, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. By focusing on these positive attributes, you can keep your mind aligned with God's will and resist negative influences. Consider the story of Daniel who refused to defile himself with the king's food in Daniel 1, 8. 16. Daniel's commitment to purity and his resolve to honor God in his dietary choices led to favor and wisdom. This story serves as an illustration of the importance of maintaining spiritual integrity, even in seemingly small matters. Remember, these spiritual attacks are not random. They are deliberate attempts to disrupt your spiritual journey and weaken your connection to God. By being aware of these tactics and taking proactive steps to guard your mind and spirit, you can overcome these challenges. If you've ever experienced eating in your dreams and felt its negative impact, know that you are not alone. Many believers face similar attacks, but with faith, prayer, and the support of your community, you can resist and overcome them. Finally, let's recall the words of Jesus in John 10.10. 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life 
and have it to the full. Jesus came to give us abundant life, and part of living that abundant life is being vigilant and proactive in protecting our spiritual well-being. Thank you for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay spiritually vigilant.